Hello everyone, how are you? On today's video we will learn how to make SSH connections through Senya Segura's gateway SSH proxy. As you know, you can also make these connections through the web interface proxy, but you also have an SSH proxy available that you can use. For that, you need a client SH to use and it can be whatever client you prefer. I will start by opening MOBA because that's the client I will use. Firstly, we will need to use the SSH binary system. I will write SSH, the name of my authentication credential on Sega Segura, followed by the system's IP or DNS. In my case, it's 192.168.0.120. It's not necessary to inform the port. I will then insert the web interface authentication password. If you use a token, the next step would be to request a token. Okay, so I'm already logged in Senya Seguru, so I can type the ls command in case I have files transferred to my home, for example. Or I can use the list command even to list the devices available for connection. In my case, I know the device available is the Senya Segura credential on device 132 Debian 11. So how will we make the connection? It's very simple. We will use the SSH plus my credentials name, which in this case it's Senya Segura, at my device, which is Debian 11 in my case. You will see that it's not really necessary to add the password to the credential because Senya Segura manages this credential. Now we are logged into the device. You can see that I used a process which is a bit laborious. First, I needed SSH for Senya Segura and then I used SSH for the device. Actually, there is a more practical way of achieving the same result which I will explain. I will open a new tab on MOBA and through the one connection string it is possible to make the jump through Senya Segura. This means you will reach Senya Segura and from there you will go directly to the device only informing your authentication credentials. For that you will use SSH again and you will input your Senya Segura authentication user again open and close brackets and inside the brackets you will inform the system credentials you want to use. In my case it's Senya Segura in the device Debian 11. Now you just need to add at and the IP or DNS address from Senya Segura you will use. The system will request my authentication password, which is the same one we inputted previously, and it will automatically log into the system as you can see. Without having to create an SSH for the Senya Segura credential using Debian 11, the system will already do it because we use the connection string and the inputted keys. I hope it was clear. Thank you.